Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope everyone's staying safe and um, also getting out there and driving, but also staying safe. So today, one of the subjects that I really wanted to touch on because I've been getting a lot of emails and um, DMs about this subject. And, you know, it's a lot of people that are, um, you know, how to say, um, you know, they're panicking right now because of the markets and because of the prices of, you know, uh, Porsches and, you know, worried that the market might go down and so forth because of, you know, this pandemic that's up on us right now. You know, I mean, my thoughts on the whole subject, you know, and also just to get back into that, one of the reasons why I have this car up is because, um, you know, this is one of the number one deals that I think that's out there right now. If this is true, one of the things you guys also have to be aware about, though, you have to be careful with scams because right now um, uh, I've seen, you know, a few people have uh, posted on my Instagram, you know, that there's some scams out there with 9-11s, you know, because of the market right now. They think, oh, you know, um, they advertise a 9-11 and, you know, with like this particular car right here is a lapis blue gray interior, six speed manual, techno wheels, 30 is saying it's 39,000 miles for 26.9, you know, but then again, that is sounds like a good price, guys. But, you know, generally, most of these cars that I've seen, you know, at 26.9 with 39,000 miles, lapis blue in clean and clean condition, you know, I haven't really checked to see if the car was in an accident or anything like that. Generally is in like the $30,000 range, you know, the $35,000 range. But anyway, so um, I really wanted to voice my opinion on this subject because, you know, a lot of people have been, you know, and I feel like there's people out there that, you know, they were really into 996s or 911s, you know, and even at, you know, twenty five, twenty six thousand dollars $26,000, that's a lot for them. And they're really trying to push, you know, hoping that this market is going to fall. Like you're going to see a 996, 911 that's going to go down to like, you know, um, maybe 10 or 12 or 13,000. But to be honest, guys, I'm here to tell you right now, I don't think that's going to ever happen. You know, I will. I don't think a, a nine nine six nine eleven is ever going to drop below. You know, the the prices that we're seeing right now, which where they're leveling out at um even with a hundred and you know you can go and go ahead on car gurus right now even at a hundred and uh, fourteen thousand miles or hundred and twenty thousand miles. I saw um one that I went and drove myself a Tiptronic in New Jersey um a couple months back uh red one you know with 120,000 miles that was being sold for 20 grand and it was and it sold you know and that car had a little bit of issues because it had a rebuilt motor and all of that stuff so um you know anyway so I, I mean I really don't see the market you know even with this e economic um downturn right now you know I don't see the, the 996 911 market you know dropping you know where people are going to be like, you know, you, people might think they're going to be able to snap up a, a, a 996 4S or a 996 4. I mean, a 996, depending on, on right now, even in the high economy, depending on the mileage, 120,000 miles. Yeah, we see them go for, you know, 5, 10, you know, Magnus Walker bought one for $5,000, you know, so Hoovy's, Hoovy from Hoovy's Garage just bought one, you know, for 6000 but he had a dealer's license, you know, so that's a different thing. When you have a dealer's license, you're bidding on a car from a dealer perspective because dealers are going to sell it back and make a profit so obviously every dealer is going to bid low so they can you know keep their profit profit margins large so but on the general market I mean the average 996 even in the upturn you know with a hundred you know some of them with 200,000 miles um, generally you know you're seeing them around eight nine thousand you know um, you know I guess Magnus Walker was pretty lucky so anyway so going back into this car um, you know, well, one of the telltale signs for me is that this car is a Mercedes. It's being sold by Mercedes Benz of Oklahoma City. So, guys, this is another way, you know, because there's going to be a lot of scams out there and why a lot of people prey on the 996 market because the 996 market is the market that's seen such an upturn in the Porsche 911 range, you know. So, a lot of, um, you know, even seasoned investors, you know, for or in, in, in Porsches or collectors are, you know, buying up the 996. I mean, you know, I was watching a documentary on uh, one of these Saudi princes who, you know, has a car collection of God knows hundreds of cars. And, you know, he's bought a few 996s now because he thinks that the market is, he's seeing that, not that he thinks, but the market is going up. So anyway, so, um, you know, here's this Lapis Blue uh, 26.9, I think is a fantastic price for this car with 39,000 miles. 
it's got 12 owners. That's a hell of a lot of owners. I mean, you know, uh, I think that's probably the most owners I've seen for a, a 9964S or let alone any 996s. So that's a lot. But again, you know, these cars change hands, you know, because some guys, they buy them, they use them, they don't want to deal with the repair bills. And I'll tell you straight up, a 9964S repair bills or any 996, it's, it's, it's affordable. I wouldn't say cheap. They're affordable to buy, but they're definitely not cheap to maintain. Or well, ma maintenance is not much, but they're definitely not cheap to fix. So I don't know if you guys follow me on Instagram. Then again, you could also follow me on Instagram. Um, same handle, Garth Loves Cars, where I posted um, I lost my keys and my spare, and I ended up paying $1,700 because the module, you know, that's another story. You know, but it's definitely not um, a cheap car to, to buy parts and so forth. So anyway, back into this car. So it's 39,000 miles on this car, 12 owner, six speed manual, you know, um, and it's being sold from Mer Mercedes Benz of Oklahoma City. So that sounds like a reputable dealer. It's been on um, car gurus for 82 days and price dropped by $4,600. So, you know, this to me is a standout because at 26.9, the, the cars that I'm used to seeing and I've been checking 996 prices for the last three years and 4S prices, you know these cars generally hover and stay around at the at the top at the low end with this much mileage maybe around 27 28,000 29,000 dollars so to see it at 269 where that's generally around that price point you're looking at cars with about 80,000 to 90,000 miles you know it's you know it's again you know I don't know what the story is with this car but it's a standout let's just put it that way so anyway um, let's take a look at this car and see. It says here, no title issues reported, so there's no accidents, there's nothing, you know. So, you know, I would say do your due diligence, you know, if anyone's interested in this car, call the dealer. Um, also, head to the dealer. If you can, do not purchase. In this day and time, I would not purchase any car without being able to physically go there and see this car for myself. Otherwise, you know, there's going to be so many scams coming up and there's already scams coming up, guys. So I would always recommend, you know, everyone to go out there and see the car yourself. Do not send an independent. Go out there and see the car yourself. So anyway, so back to what I was saying. So, you know, I don't see, I don't think the, the prices for 911s or even, you know, the 911 uh, 4S will drop that much. You know, the market has been on, you know, the uptrend. If anything, the market is going to level out and you know because uh, guys and, and, and again do not this is one of the main things I wanted to touch on do not panic you know do not panic because you know we have the virus going on and then you know um, people are thinking the economy is gonna get hit because look man if you can afford to buy a, a, a 996 4s or, or any 996 for that matter you know it's what is it to you like with this economy I mean you know generally for me personally, you know, I have different reasons, but generally, you know, to sell a car during this time, because I understand if some people need the money, but guys, hold on to your cars, man. Don't panic and sell your car because you think, you know, the economy is going to hit rock bottom and you're going to lose the value on the car. You know, then again, maybe you bought the car for the wrong reason, you know, because you know, you buy the car to enjoy the car. You buy the car, especially, honestly, in this time, if you guys follow me on Instagram, again, I post more there on a daily basis because YouTube, you have to, you know, come up with videos and, and have good content, you know, but on my Instagram, you know, I post me driving my car and, and that's the fun. You know, the fun is when you're in this lockdown period, you know, when I get into my 911 and I hit the highway, <laughs> you know, I forget about all of this. You know, that's my highlight for the, to get me through this lockdown, you know. I don't drive every day once in a while. I take it out on the highway, get some ex exhilaration and come back, you know. So anyways, so this is one of the other cars, guys. Um, you know, going back to the one that I just showed you. I mean, this one is a similar 2004 and this one's 25 grand. Now, this is what I'm talking about. This one is around 73,000 miles, you know, three owners. It's a Tiptronic again to me. Tiptronic or, or manual is all a matter of preference. You're not losing much, period. No noticeable 
I would say no real noticeable difference as far as performance is, is concerned, other than the fact with the manual, you get more of a symphony from the engine because you're switching the gears. But as far as the performance level, you know, to me personally. So anyway, um, you know, here's another one. And that car we just saw, this is 73,000 miles, three owners, Tiptronic, and it's selling for 25,000. Even if it was a manual, I think it'll still command around maybe 25.9 or something like that. You know, that's that's the sweet spot for these cars. So the other one with 39,000 miles at 26.9, I'm sure if you walk in there at this time and, you know, you, you bargain with the dealer, because nowadays the only people that are really trying to move these 996s or any car for that matter are dealers. Because obviously dealers don't want cars to sit on their lots. They want cars to get off the lot. You know, so there's that car again um, with 39,000 miles. Um, yeah, so guys, again, the theme of this thing, I wanted to reach out to you guys and I wanted to share my opinion is I don't see that the prices for 9964 S's are going to change that much. So I would say, and my best advice to anyone who owns these cars is <laughs> don't sell your car. Do not panic if you don't have to sell your car. Because I guarantee you, they're not going to fall. Even if the economy goes so low, I don't see prices for a 996 4S especially or turbos or GT2s or any 911s. You know, maybe the 997s are going to take, I mean, the, the 991s are going to take a dip. You know, 997s a little bit because, you know, they're the newer cars. The 996 has reached that vintage age where a lot of people now are recognizing these cars and are really wanting to have one in their garage. You know, so this one is a beautiful car that I saw. This is a turbo. Um, this is another car that um, I've been watching for a long time. So, guys, this is another one. This is in uh, PA. Um, this is traded in um, into a Porsche dealership, actually. And, um, I mean, look at this car. This is a convertible. Uh, 23000 The lights need to be cleaned. Um, manual, you know, has pretty decent options on the car. Uh, it's got a hundred and, and again, this is what I was talking about. This car's got 114,000 miles, right? And check this out four owners, six speed manual, and the price is 23,991. You know, and most of these dealers don't really come down on the prices. You know, even if you're paying cash, you know, you probably be around 23,500 if you're lucky. Um, that was my experience in purchasing my car. So yeah, I'm 12 minutes into this video. Didn't want to keep this long. So my best advice is guys, hold on to your car. Do not panic. Um, again, I don't see the prices falling that much, even if there's a kind of, I think the only way I see prices going is unless we had a bomb, you know, or, or an attack like Pearl Harbor, you know, where the economy totally f goes flat. And at that point, no one's buying anything. You know, so our economy is still going, you know, we're at a different time than where we were a couple of years ago. And, you know, unless, you know, you purchased that car and you really didn't have the money to purchase that car, but you did it anyway, is where I see you selling this car for less than you purchased it. Because these cars are going to retain the value regardless of what the economy is. Now, I'm not saying that, okay, maybe the dealer won't give you a, a better discount because of the fact that these cars are going to sit a little bit longer because buyers. And then again, you know, um, I got an email from BAT, you know, uh, bring a trailer, and they've seen the biggest surge in sales they've ever seen in, 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 in years, you know, in this economy. Because you also have to remember, just to sum this up, is that a lot of people who purchase these type of cars, you know, this is money that they've just had sitting around. And most of the buyers at this level are people who have investments in other things. You know, regardless of the situation, I mean, they're not people that, you know, they put their last dime into having a 996 4S just for the clout. And now here comes this economy and they, they don't have their job or any income and they have no more money. Most of the people who purchase these cars are people who have money sitting in the bank, you know, well, in my experience. You know, so a downturn like this does not necessarily affect them in the sense of they need to liquidate assets, you know. So not to sound like a snob, but really and truly, when you're at this level, it's definitely not a level where in this downturn, you need to sell a car to make things ends meet. 
you know, it's more of you've already achieved certain things in life and these are the luxuries that you have. So if you are one of those people, and even if you're not, just hold on to your car. Do not panic because if you do, you're going to flood the market with a bunch of cars and then in return, the prices are going to go down and you're not going to get what you paid for the car. So hold on to your car. It's going to keep its value. It's not going to go down that much. There's a lot of people that are out there, a lot of people that couldn't afford the 996s and the 996 4s at even the prices where they are today, you know, at affordable prices. And they're the ones praying for these prices to go down. It's not going to change, guys. Hold on to your car. Subscribe, like, and share. Thank you, guys. I can't eat my car.